Is it time to buy or sell Microsoft stock? Delve into the world of Microsoft with our in-depth analysis. Our initial report was released on Thursday, March 28, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with even more detailed insights. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to stay informed about our latest analysis. Stay ahead and don't miss out on updates that could impact your investments. Empower your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Harness the potential of AI and receive free price predictions and comprehensive analysis for over 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please be aware that this video is for informational purposes only and is not financial advice. Since March 12, 2024, our system has identified Microsoft as a buy candidate, with a score of 1.45. Now, let's examine how the stock has performed during this period. The stock has shown a gain of 1.31%. On average, this translates to a daily return of 0.1% since being designated as a buy candidate. The stock is currently in the midst of a strong upward trend in the short term, indicating a potential further increase within this trend. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a projected 11.52% change in the next quarter, with a potential return ranging from 8.56% to 14.78%. In terms of the 12-month trend, a 39.53% change is expected over the next year, with a possible return between 23.66% and 43.21%. This equates to a price range of $520.24 to $602.50 after 12 months. Our latest update on Microsoft reveals that the stock price dropped by 0.168% on Thursday. On the last trading day, Thursday, March 28, 2024, the Microsoft stock price decreased from $421.43 to $420.72, marking a fifth consecutive day of decline. Throughout the day, the stock price fluctuated by 0.651%, ranging from a low of $419.14 to a high of $421.87. Over the past 10 days, the price has fallen in six instances, resulting in a decrease of 1.06%. Trading volume surged by 5 million shares on the last day, despite the declining prices, possibly hinting at increased risk in the upcoming days. A total of 22 million shares were traded, amounting to approximately $9.13 billion. Looking back over the past 52 weeks, the highest recorded stock price was $430.82, while the lowest was $275.37. Presently, the stock price stands at 2.34% below the 52-week high, totaling $10.10. The current price is also the all-time high for the stock. Analyst Ratings Recently, Microsoft received positive analyst ratings. On Tuesday, March 26, 2024, Wedbush upgraded Microsoft to outperform with a hold action. On Wednesday, February 7, 2024, Oppenheimer also upgraded Microsoft to overweight with an upgrade action. Additionally, on Wednesday, January 31, 2024, BMO Capital, RBC Capital, and William Blair all gave Microsoft an outperform grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Microsoft stock a general strong buy rating. PE ratio and price to book are both rated as strong buy by analysts. The stock receives an strong buy rating for return on investment. Microsoft signals analysis. The Microsoft stock currently shows a mixed signal scenario. The short-term moving average suggests a sell signal, while the long-term average indicates a buy signal. With the short-term average above the long-term one, a general buy signal is in place, forecasting a positive outlook for the stock. Potential resistance lies at $424.29, with support at $413.59. A breakout above the short-term average triggers a buy signal, while a breakdown below the long-term one triggers a sell signal. The three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, also signals a buy. However, negative signals like a recent sell signal from a pivot top point on March 21, 2024, 
causing a minus 2.01% decline, suggest caution. Increasing volume on falling prices may hint at further declines ahead and requires close monitoring. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 6 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 5 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 5 days ago. Long-term moving average, by signal 14 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, by signal 12 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 14 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 105 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, by signal 102 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Microsoft. Microsoft has found support from accumulated volume at $416.42. This level presents a potential buying opportunity as an upward reaction can be expected when the support is tested. The stock is typically traded at a good volume, with minor daily changes, resulting in low perceived risk. In the last day, the stock moved $2.73, 0.651%, between its high and low points. Over the past week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 1.06%. Before discussing potential trading levels for Microsoft, let's review some key fundamental data. First up is the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio, which compares a company's share price to its earnings per share. This P-E ratio falls within the range typically seen in established businesses with stable revenues. Looking ahead, the Q1 2024 earnings report is scheduled for April 23, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimate stands at $2.84. It's important to monitor these figures as they can significantly impact stock prices. Now, let's delve into some potential day trading levels for Microsoft. In an upward trend, the initial resistance level for Microsoft stands at $421.41. If you are considering entering a position without owning any shares, it might be prudent to wait for this level to be surpassed. For current stockholders, this level could be a point of interest for swing trading opportunities. Conversely, Microsoft faces its primary support level at $416.42 on the downside. Should this support level hold, it could serve as a favorable entry point, with hopes of a subsequent rebound. Microsoft has received a strong buy rating from multiple analyst sources. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. On March 14, 2024, Rodriguez Carlos A bought 514 shares of restricted stock units. On March 14, 2024, Pritzker Penny S purchased 21,261 shares of restricted stock units. On March 14, 2024, Peterson Sandra E acquired 41,396 shares of restricted stock units. On March 14, 2024, McGregor Catherine made a buy of 399 shares of restricted stock units. On March 14, 2024, Listeri conducted an insider purchase of 39,927 shares of restricted stock units. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is calculated to be negative, with a ratio of minus 36.712. In the last 100 trades, insiders bought 104,753 shares and sold 197,709 shares. Our recommended stop loss is set at $406.73, representing a decrease of 3.32%. This stock exhibits minimal daily fluctuations, resulting in lower risk. A sell signal was identified from a pivot top five days ago. Is Microsoft stock a good buy? Our analysis indicates that despite positive short-term signals and a generally good trend, the current price may present a buying opportunity. However, there are indications that the stock is currently overvalued based on recent volatility and movements. 
Looking ahead to trading on Monday, April 1st, we anticipate Microsoft to open lower by Dash dollar 0.143 at $420.58. Trading carries a high risk of financial loss. It is advisable to consult a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Do not solely rely on StockInvest.us for your investment choices. Your investment actions are your own responsibility when using the provided information. We're sharing our current perspective on this stock. Share your thoughts in the comments, do you agree or disagree? What target do you have in mind for the stock? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Wishing you success in your trading endeavors and a wonderful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.